They represented what we hoped, I think, we'd find, which was uh, a rich diversity of interdisciplinary, intercultural, uh, and authentically problem investigating research. Uh, we wanted to have a conference that was different, and a lot of normal academic conferences become very narrow and specialise in limited areas and don't really speak to any broader issues. In this case, I think everyone I have spoken to, and I've spoken to just about everyone who has been here, the response has been, this definitely was different and it was exciting because areas that they knew about but had never ventured in had become accessible and they discovered a lot more common, or issues of common interest and common concern. Uh, one of the very important uh, activities of a conference like this is networking. In fact, many academic conferences end up being more important for networking than they are for content. At least we will not be saying that. But at more than one of the networking events, particularly the main one, which was held before the, the dinner, uh, there were people who came to express their support for the organisation, including the Consul General, of the United States, um, several corporate leaders, and uh, the head of the World Food Program. So we were being shown a degree of respect by international bodies that obviously saw value and indeed worth and merit in what we were doing. Oh, very much so. Um, for a whole host of reasons, I will not exhaust them all, but number one would be that Japanese academic societies are just like those abroad. They are confined to their own membership and they tend to be dominated by more or less the same people year on. And uh, everyone is deferring to the people above them and it all becomes a very complicated process that really doesn't, in many cases, achieve very much. The International Academic Forum here provides an opportunity for people from a whole range of East Asian cultures from uh, Southeast Asia, North Asia, North America and Europe and I think uh, there must have been at least a dozen European countries represented and it was a great experience for those who came from Europe to see Japan at first hand and begin to recognize some of the comparative issues that really ought to be, ought to be addressed and studied a little bit more. Um, the forum itself, as I said at the very beginning, has very clear goals and one of them of course is to bring theoretical reflections onto practical issues and in some way to make the academic world a bit more relevant <coughs> to what's happening not just on the ground but in a, in a sense around the world and uh, the fact that hunger was a major issue presented at this particular uh, conference did sound a chord of understanding with many, many people and I think it created also an enthusiasm of its own for approaching these kind of problems in a new way and I think that is one of the vital objectives of the forum. Having in Asia is good because it draws people from the west away. Japan is still the world's second largest economy it still has a tremendous place in the whole world system, one that is often um, appreciated less than it should be, mainly because of the massive rise of China. But we had a large number of Chinese representatives who had a whole range of opinions about their own country and that made everything so much more interesting and I think also added a touch of realism to many people's perspectives. Um, stereotypes exist of everything and uh, while there was no attempt made to attack stereotypes, perspectives of different things that were presented by people enabled them, I think, to, to see things in a different light and to actually understand, <coughs> to understand more accurately uh, some of the misrepresentations that often come through the media. Well, I heard nothing but amazing 
appreciation of two particular features of it. One was the, the intimate historical knowledge that he was able to bring from his own family archives of a very significant event in the middle of the 19th century. And secondly, that um, being as he is an extremely articulate person, he was able to bring out some of the very positive perspectives that uh, his ancestor had on Japan. And I think those two combined provided members of the audience with, a, if you like, a story within history, a family story within a piece of very important uh, British and Asian history, and brought it all to light, and brought it all to life through, um, through the, the dimensions he was able to offer which included uh, watercolour drawings of the various events and um, other historical data which uh, was often passed over but which actually shows what a very uh, interesting era but also difficult era it was for Asians as well as Europeans to comprehend. The issue of sustainability <coughs> um, really crystallized into the whole question of hunger. And uh, again, this is a personal opinion, but I think it was echoed by a large number of people whom I spoke to. And that was that the focusing on hunger gives or gave to the presentations a much more concrete dimension than general words like poverty or eradication of poverty. I've always contended that poverty is relative and the hunger is absolute. If you don't have anything to eat, you don't have anything. And it's much easier for the general public, I think, to understand hunger than it is to understand a general word like poverty. The plenary session brought to the conference uh, a lot of valuable information and a lot of interesting ideas and suggestions as to how uh, organizations that are tackling issues of um, development and so forth uh, enable them to realize that hunger is the ground floor at which you have to start. Uh, there's no point in giving people medicine if they're starving because it will not do much good. So I think there's a lot learned from that um, and I'm sure that most people who are involved in the discussions and judging by the questions that were asked there was a, a significant range uh, of interest shown that everyone left this with, uh, I think, almost an inspired feeling that something could positively be done. If you're considering coming and you ask yourself, well, why should I come? If you're at the junior end of the academic ladder, as it were, you'll have an opportunity to make presentations uh, and to experience in a friendly environment with other younger people what it's like to go on the big stage. And for those who are a bit more veteran and experienced, it's an opportunity to pass on the benefit of what you have, but also to keep in touch with what those who are up and coming are thinking, because there's no doubt that as the academic world evolves and as the individuals evolve within it, that everything which is changing around the bottom sometimes makes adjustment difficult. But for those who are younger and for those who are more experienced, it's an opportunity to exchange ideas and uh, to learn from each other because that really is one of the important things about this International Academic Forum. It's meant to be not just a place where we talk, it's also a place where we learn. And I do hope you will give it a serious thought and join us at one of our future conferences. Thank you very much.